Hey guys, Kid Guru here. Today I have another utility for you guys, a really, really cool thing for your pen drive. In a way, I'm going to show you how to supercharge your pen drive with an application that comes with a bundle of 100 plus utilities for your pen drive. Uh, you know, portable apps, uh, you know, really for troubleshooting on the go. Really, really awesome utility. I'm also going to show you how to use and add a uh, extra package to this, which is known as Sys Internals. Now, this is obviously just for uh, system internals to troubleshoot again on the go on other people's computers, stuff like that. Really, really useful tools that can come in handy if you have your pen drive. Um, uh, this The Sys Internals package is from Microsoft. That comes with a lot of cool stuff that I'll show you. Um, so, you know, lately I've been showing you, I know I showed you the auto start tool last time. This is a tool I found off of Lifehacker, and I thought I should share it because it really is cool to make your, you know, your flash drive really, really cool and, you know, uh, load it with some cool utilities. So you can download the NUR launcher package from here. So you have to get the beta version. If you scroll down, it'll be right around here. You can download it right there. Now, you also want to install the extra package. You don't have to, but if you want these tools, these come with some really cool tools off of Microsoft site, the system internals. Sys internal suite. It's only 10.4 10.4 megabytes. Comes with a lot of cool stuff that I'll show some show some of them to you. And then you'll have two zip folders. Now before you extract them, you want to create a new folder for each thing. Otherwise you can get a mess of files wherever you extract it to. So one I'm gonna call sys internals. Or actually yeah, I guess. And then the other one I'm gonna call sorry, I forgot to create the other folder. Um, I'm going to call this one NERSOFT. Now what I'm going to do with the NERSOFT one, you're going to want to put this in your pen drive. So you're going to want to open your my computer and locate your pen drive. And I'm just using a simple 2 gig uh, pen drive that I have here. And I'm going to drag this NERSOFT folder in. And then there you go, I have a folder there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take NERSOFT here and right click it. And you can use whatever extracting software you want to use. And I'm going to say extract files, I'm going to wait for it, and I'm going to look for the location I want to extract it to, which would be under computer, find the pen drive, which it is disk K, so right here, and point it to the NERSOFT folder, hit OK, let it extract, and I'm going to like, quickly do its thing, and it's back here, I'm sorry, I had to let it pause while... It extracted the files, and you see here, there's a huge, huge amount of files in here. And you have to, the, it, now, NERSOFT comes with an actual launcher, so you can navigate through all of these. And I'm going to really quickly get back, or sorry, not back. Open this, I'm trying to find the actual, uh, the actual launcher that NERSOFT provides. Right here, the NER, NER launcher.exe is what you want to launch so you just find that in the slew of applications and as you see here it's going to organize all the uh, applications in here under this so you could if you want you want to single this nerd launcher you can you know you can just remember that's the one you always have to open nerd launcher dot uh, exe will have all of these uh, and will have a whole organized of these tools that you can use so uh, for example it says remote desktop this one's under password recovery utilities there's dial pass Guessing that's dealing with dial-up. Um, password Fox, so you can view password stored in Firefox, and that works well if you have like portable Firefox installed on your pen drive, like I do. Uh, Chrome Pass, there's a lot of cool stuff. You can uh, asterisk logger, <laughs> you know, a key logger type thing. Really, really cool stuff. Network monitoring. So if you're bringing this to school, you might want to be careful because you can. I don't know if you. I guess you could get in trouble with some of these tools. Uh, so, you know, there's a sniff, so you can capture packets or you know, sniffs packets that come through. Really, really cool stuff and uh, programmer tools. Uh, GDI view, DLL export, device input output, I guess IO view. Internet related utilities, custom IE, so that's really cool. Uh, MAC address view, down tester, who is this domain, so you can find out who owns domains. Again, uh, system utilities, really, really cool ones. Registry scanner, start a blue screen, so you can randomly start a blue screen. Uh, that's not a real one, I guess it'd just be like a fake one. Uh, command line utilities. Again, those are some cool stuff. Desktop utilities. I guess these are some uh, just fun things you can mess around with. Other utilities, so I guess this would be miscellaneous. Uh, hash files, editor, Skype log view. Let's see what else they have here. Web browser tools, IE design mode, uh, other stuff like that. Outlook and office utilities. Attach view, office, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff. And it gives you a description, obviously. And last but not least, video and audio related tools. So you can install certain codecs off of uh, this one right here. 
web video capture so you can capture video flash files so that's really, really cool uh volume mouse use the just adjust the volume i guess with your mouse and video cache view so a lot a lot of tools now let's say you find another package of applications that you really love and you want to add them uh like i said uh the system internals so what i'm going to do now is quickly i'm going to first off minimize this tell system internals right click it go to 7-zip tell it where to extract the files now this is just kind of an add-on you don't have to do this but i think system internals has some pretty cool tools uh, that provided by Microsoft. So, uh, you know, if you want to add a couple more functionality tools, I would recommend doing it because it really is uh, worth it. So, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to want to actually not went to the wrong location here. I'm going to go to the desktop and put it in the system internals folder. Hit OK and let it extract. And now that it's finished extracting, I have two folders here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Nerd Launcher. Go to file. Uh, where is it here? Open web. Oh, sorry, not file. I want to go to launch. Is it launcher? I want to go to yeah, launcher. And go to add software package. So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna let it load. And it's gonna want you to find the software package that you want to. Uh, what do you call that? Launch. And it's gonna, and that's uh, a certain file. It's gonna need a .nlp file. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna go to the website, and he provides this guy who, uh, the developer who made this, uh, right here. If you want to use the system internals thing, he says you can obviously first go to the site to install it. Then you want to download this little NLP file that he created, and I actually forgot to download this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Oh my bad. One second. So let me quickly install this. All right. Sorry about that. I had to quickly install it. It's just an NLP file, basically. It's just a little text it really is just a text file so before I do that uh, you want to install that system internals again this is optional if you want to add this so uh, you take this and you drag this NLP file basically a text file put it in the main folder with all those files that you just extracted and you can add the software package or you can simply drag the uh, NLP file over into Nerd Launcher but I'm just gonna do the old-fashioned way and add the package so I'm gonna go to desktop system internals or sys internals and there it is, the Sys Internals NLP. And as you see there, it adds its own little tools. So PS tools, other console tools, GUI tools, stuff like that. So really cool stuff. Uh, and now you have a whole other you know, package. And this one provides really cool tools as well. You can explore around. One of my favorites that I've used in the past, it's called Zoom In. And I believe they package it in this one if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. So if I double click it, it'll launch. And you can hit control one and this is really cool so I'm gonna hit okay and control one and why is it not working oh maybe because I have separate uh, keys hang on the zoom I'm gonna say control one okay and you see there I'm really that's one tool to mess around with okay that's my favorite one in that package anyway there's a lot more you can explore obviously I don't have enough time to go through them all but you just added another suite of applications, and now you have system internals, uh, you know, package if you want to put that in your launcher. Um, you obviously want to take this folder and drop it into your pen drive as well. That way you can access it if you need a whole other suite of applications. You can switch between this and the ones that, you know, obviously are packaged into your launcher by default. Anyways, guys, this has been Kid Guru showing you a really, really cool utility for troubleshooting, monitoring, uh, fun little apps built into your pen drive. And they're all pretty small and, you know, relatively, they all fit on the you know, one gig to two gig flash drive and up. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. All links will be in the video description to the right. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe.